Hi there, I'm Dr. Paul, and these are the top 20 questions people ask about becoming a veterinarian. This is 20 questions with Dr. Paul. It's nice to be a veterinarian, especially if you love animals. And it is, yeah, surface related business because what you do, you do the people a big surface by helping their dog to stay or get healthy again. And it is a very thankful job and it takes a lot of hard work to do, but it is just satisfying to bring a healthy pet back to the owner. How long does it take to become a veterinarian? Most of the time, pre-vet is two to four years and vet school is about four years. How much does it cost to become a veterinarian? That depends on the college you go to, but I expect to spend $200,000 or more. What is the average salary of a veterinarian? I think that is right around $120,000 you know, between all the veterinarians, the specialized and small animal, large animal. So that's about the average. What is the best undergraduate major for getting into vet school? Anything to do with animals, you know, biology and you know, especially you know, math and everything is also very important because you always need math for getting the right dosage for medicine. It's hard to say you know, where you want to go. The major thing for undergrad is something with you know, a basic knowledge of animals. What classes should I take to become a veterinarian? It's all the hard classes. You have to do your math, you have to do biology, the physics, you have to do chemistry. So what they call the core classes, and they're hard to do, but that's necessary to become a veterinarian. How do I find the best vet school for me? That's hard to say because if you want to do large animal or small animal, or if you want to specialize in other things, the best way is just to look around and look at what many schools have to offer for you. All the vet schools are not the same. And if you want to do large animal, you have better find a school that teaches a lot about large animal. And we need large animal veterinarians. What is the best way to get into vet school? There is always a limited number of students that can be accepted in the vet school. So if you really want to go, you have to apply at several schools. Look for the school that you like the best, that you can find out what courses they take and how, and even if they have hands-on, apply at several schools so you have a good chance or a better chance coming in. Do I need a lot of animal-related volunteer experience before applying? No, you don't need it. But if you are in high school and you want to work with animals, start volunteering. And that doesn't have to be at a veterinary practice. That can be at animal shelters. It can be at boarding where they board horses for people. If you have you know, that experience to work with animals and, and understand animals before you become a vet, it's very important that you, you know, realize, hey, I can do this because what I say many times, don't be afraid of animals. If you are, they sense it and you will get hurt. What are some of the best skills to have for being a veterinarian? A love for animals and an understanding for animals. Many times they say you can look the animal in the eye and then you see what they are thinking really. But the main thing is that you learn to handle animals. And I do all kinds of animals and I love doing all these different animals because it's exciting. You have to be able to handle all these animals. The main thing is do not be afraid of the animals. And what is the difference between a vet tech and a veterinarian? A vet tech is only a two year course many times and you can basically help a veterinarian in the practice. That means you can do a lot of things, but you cannot do everything that a veterinarian does. 
We also need a lot of fat tax. So if you don't want to go to school and you know, spend all that money and all that time to become a veterinarian, a vet tech is a very nice job and we need lots of those too. Do you get to play with animals all the time? No. When you are a veterinarian, you don't play with these people's animals. You only play with your own animals. And yes, we have lots of animals ourselves and that's the fun part of it. What is the hardest part about being a veterinarian? That is when old animals have to be put down. And when you have had an animal for you know, 10 to 18 years, it is part of your family. Animals are not afraid to die, but you know they do want to live also. But when they have outlived yeah, their age almost where they are not happy when they are in pain, yes, then the best way is just to let them go to sleep. What's the coolest animal you've ever helped? I don't remember, there are so many. Just common sense veterinary practice where you can find out what's wrong and help them. I've seen pet foxes, pet coons, pet, you name it, pets, even a pet skunk. You know, I've had uh, you know, animals from Africa and from Australia that you help. So you have to be an open mind and just, yeah, remember that somebody else has done something before. So if you don't know, you can always look it up how to help these animals. Do you need to be good at math to become a veterinarian? Yes, of course, because the animals need medicine and medicine many times is so much per kilo and most of the time we hear everything in pounds. So yes, you have to be able to go back and forth and find out the right dosage of the medicine for animals. Do veterinarians ever work with zoo animals? Yes, there's lots of veterinarians that want to work with zoo animals. Like I said, somebody always has done it before you so you can find out, but you have to do your math work real good to get the right dosage. Can veterinarians help wild animals like birds or deer? It depends uh, on the state. Uh, like here in Michigan, yes, I've worked with lots of wild animals, not much with deer because there are so many, but otherwise, yes, I've had owls especially, because sometimes uh, owls sit in the middle of the road and eat dead animals that are hit by a car, and if they get hit, they bring them in because owls basically are a protected bird. So it all depends on what kind of animal and what kind of DNR protocols we have in the state. How do I know if being a veterinarian is right for me? That's how you start working with animals when you are young. I was born and raised on the dairy farm, so I was with animals right from as young as possible. Many people ask me, what is your favorite animal? It's a healthy animal, because that's why we went to school, to keep animals healthy. Are there jobs for veterans, like in research or education? Of course there are. All the drug companies have veterinarians on staff that help to develop new drugs. And there's also lots of veterinarians working at the colleges, of course, to make new veterinarians. What is Dr. Paul's number one recommendation to be a veterinarian? That you are smart, that you have all the right courses that you took, and that you love animals. Don't be afraid. You have to get used to handling all kinds of animals. How can I make my vet school application stand out? It's very hard to do because there are so many of them. Show where you care about animals, where you have worked with animals, and that your grades are high. Do the best you can with all the grades that you have and the experience that you've had. These were the top questions that people ask about veterinarians. And I hope that we can get a lot more veterinarians, especially large animal veterinarians. We do need large animal veterinarians very badly.